garden nerds, I'm a little bit fired up right now because I just had a conversation with a so-called nursery professional who did not know what I'm about to tell you. I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd, and let's talk about summer squash versus winter squash. First, a little background. Both summer and winter squashes belong to the family called Cucurbitaceae. They are in there along with some melons and uh, cucumbers as the name implies. But summer squash and winter squash have different properties. Let's review. Summer squash is the kind of thing that you see in a bush usually that's growing where the fruit grows from the base of the plant. Those are your zucchini, your yellow crookneck, your patty pan squashes. Winter squashes are usually, but not always, a vining type of squash where the fruit sets along the vine. And those are gonna be all pumpkins, plus your acorn, delicata, kabocha squash, acorn, I already said acorn, <laughs> butternut, those kinds of things. Those are winter squashes. And the noticeable difference is that summer squashes have a thin skin that you can pierce with your thumbnail and winter squashes have a thick skin that you can't pierce with your thumbnail once they're cured. Now, the reason, this is the thing that I got upset about when I was talking to this nursery professional, the reason why they are called summer squash and winter squash is not because that's when you grow them, it's because that's when you consume them. Let's break it down. Summer squash grows in the summer. It has the thin skin that you pierce with your thumbnail and you have to consume it in the summer because that's the thin skin doesn't allow it for storage. Winter squash grows in the summer, but because it has that thick skin that once it's cured, it stores through winter. That's why you see pumpkins on your porch at Halloween and on the Thanksgiving table. They haven't just freshly been harvested. They grew during the summer and they store that long. Don't believe me? Let's talk about some statistics about how to grow these things. Both summer and winter squash require soil temperatures. That means not air temperatures, but the soil temperature between 70 and 95 degrees. That's a hot day. And they also require, at least winter squashes do, require nighttime temperatures above 60 and in some cases 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about you, but even in my warm winter climate, in the fall and in winter, our temperatures get under 50 degrees easily. They won't do well if you're growing them in the fall or winter when you, you know, if you follow what the name implies. Now you know the difference between summer squash and winter squash and you can grow them this spring and summer when your soil temperatures are above 70 degrees and your nighttime temperatures are above 50 degrees. To your heart's content, you'll be able to eat that summer squash right away and store that winter squash for winter. That's it for today. I hope you uh, like this video. Subscribe if you do, share it with your friends, and don't forget, you can become a Patreon subscriber to support the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. Also, check out both of my books, Gardening for Geeks and Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden, my newest book about small space gardening for fruits. Happy gardening.